Invariably one of the highlights of any season. Two clubs who stand for an unbridled commitment to excellence. Stay with us for all the action live from this London derby as Chelsea face Arsenal on EA TV. It is always a high-profile occasion when Chelsea and Arsenal collide. And the venue for this game is Stamford Bridge here in West London. Derek Ray alongside Stuart Robson for this London derby. Stuart, what do you expect to see today? Well, Derek, you're absolutely right. Chelsea versus Arsenal has become a big game in recent times. And this shouldn't be any different. I'm certainly looking forward to this one. They're two excellent teams. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And potentially a real handful in attack today, Raheem Sterling. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today is Gabriel Jesus. Thank you for attending Stamford Bridge. Enjoy the game. And the match is underway. Granite Jacker. Ben White. Martin Odegaard. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Sterling. James. And there's the feed into the box. Well, they survived the attack. But it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who's going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goalscorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. James. Sterling has it. And a good tackle. Martinelli. And return to Xhaka. And fine work from Chelsea to win the ball back. Over the touchline for what will be an Arsenal throw. Martin Odegaard. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw-in. Conte. Excellent defending. Mount, now potential danger, Sterling, 
Well, a poor effort when all was said and done, and simple for the keeper. Well, he's made a real mess of that, hasn't he? What a chance that was. Martin Odegaard. Well read to ease the pressure. James. Dangerous looking through ball. And that was never likely to trouble the keeper. Granite Jacker. Marcinelli. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. And that was a very fine read. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Mount. And space for them here on the flank. Now delivering that deep cross. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. William Saliba. Now Zinchenko, Martinelli, Alexander Zinchenko, and take it away, Farce, Martin Odegaard, well far from the ideal pass. Kai Havertz. And can they be creative from here? Opportunity in the wide area. Arsenal's free kick here. Bukayo Saka. Really vital interception here. Just needs to get rid of it. Havertz. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Well, possibilities inside the box. Now, well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Now, well, that pass easy on the eye. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Mount. Tremendous ball played through. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And over it comes. A decisive clearance it was. James and reading it absolutely superbly that is how to apply the pressure Martinelli really good interception Sterling oh that's an interesting pass 
excellence there. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Raheem Sterling, whose timing is generally so impeccable, but he is one of his own biggest critics. Is he going to be happy with this performance? Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't gotten the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a marked improvement in the second half. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Conte. James. On to Sterling. Can he put them in front? Keeper getting the touch. And in the end, no damage done. Well, that could have been the moment that Chelsea just got their noses in front but they've been thwarted by a brilliant save from the keeper. Happy to take on the shot, and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Here it is now, a substitution. It's a short corner. Keen on cutting in. Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike! Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. Well, here it is again, and just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Substitution for James. He'll take efforts like that all day long. Granite Jacker. An encouraging Arsenal move. Strong play here, a really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. A chance to whip it in. A very timely interception. Aspili Quetta. On to Jorginho. Kai Havertz. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Aspili Quetta. Thirty minutes to go then. Unable to keep the ball. N'Golo Conte. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Conte! A stellar piece of defending. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. That needs an accurate cross. Bukayo Saka. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. 
Really good block. Kai Havertz. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Kai Havertz. Now will the cross work out for them? Careless in possession. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Great pressure to win the ball back. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Kukureya. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. What can they do from here? Chance to play it in. And he takes on the shot. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, the goalkeeper knows it could have been much worse for him. Well, he can't believe his luck there, can he? How is that not a goal? Well, had that gone in, Arsenal would be in big trouble. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 29, Kyle Havertz. Coming out of the pitch, number 9, Saka, it's with Erdegaard, lovely ball over the top, and it's Gabriel Jesus, intercepting it intelligently, Partey, an alert piece of defending, And he did well to cut it out. The clock is against Arsenal, but what can they pull out of the fire here? Well, a crucial intervention inside the box. Aspili Quetta. Alert defending. From one side of the pitch to the other. White. Arsenal have given it away. So here we are nearing the end of the contest. Can Chelsea turn a lead late into the game into an official victory? Stuart, how would you critique their performance of this one? A really good stop at a critical stage. Well, had that gone in, there was no way back. Not much time left now, though. So making the substitution now. Corner kick played in. And a struggle to get it away properly. And keeper's ball. He made it look as though it was never in any doubt. Keeper not concentrating. Useful looking ball. And I think we can call him one mighty relieved goalkeeper. Well, he can smile now, but that was a big blunder. In behind for him to chase. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Jorginho. Aubameyang. Well read to win possession back. 
Smith Row. Tierney. Well, there to intercept. So the final whistle now. It goes down as a victory for Chelsea to the delight of their fans around the world. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, it really is wonderful to watch Raheem Sterling when he's on top of his game, and that has certainly been the case here, Stuart. Well, he was at his best today. Lots of energy, good movement and plenty of skill. And to cap it all off, he got the winning goal. That was a brilliant performance.